Hello. Now we have a lovely Lan here, but could you introduce yourself to our audience a little bit more? Yes. My name is Lan Shaw. I'm the board president of the Oakland Ballet. Ballet. About Asian American story, um, how you feel about it? What do you think about it? And uh, what does it mean to you? I'm so glad that Ding Ding TV and the Silicon Valley community started this program because we're all here. We're all we all belong here. That's the reason why the Oakland Ballet um, participated in this contest. Um, we are a six-year-old ballet company. It's in its classical dance form. However, in the recent years. Um, three years ago, we started this called the Dancing Moons Festival. We are the first and only ballet company that presents the entire program to showcase Asian American choreographers and dancers. And we're, those choreographers are world class choreographers. They just happen to be Asian American. So it's very, very important to bring them on the stage to, to show how they really, their journey, their experience, and through their own lens to see the, in the form of storytelling through ballet. And we got invited to go on tour in America to showcase the program. Awesome. Yes. You know, the ballet itself, you know, it's uh, something, just something amazing. Show your freedom, show your mental health, and show your strength. Meanwhile, and <laughs> I want you to say a little bit more uh, to our audience about, like, um, to Ding Ding TV and the Silicon Valley community media, please. Yes. So, yes, ballet is a classical dance form. However, we cannot stay telling the classical stories over and over. And the key thing is how to bridge the gap between the classical ballet form and coming to today's age to showcase the story. That's what Oakland Ballet does the best. We have program for the, um, Latin, the, uh, the Latino community, and we have for the black community, and we have for Asian community, for uh, LGBTQ community, and of course we have our own version of uh, Nutcrackers. So it really is, we are a pioneer to help break out from this, uh, the paradigm, so it really becomes the pioneer and the leading the shift that get the ballet out of its own island to come to the community and to become a part of your, our lives. Wow, that's uh, quite a speech. Like I feel right after a mentor. <laughs> Here, oh, thank you so much. Look at you, like uh, all the fresh air. Yeah. All the best. Oh, my oh, thank you. And um, with this more to come, um, next year in 2025, we're gonna have um, this amazing program to showcase Angel Island story. Is the story happened in Angel Island during Chinese uh, Exclusion Act? We all know only actually part of the Asian the, the the community knows the story. So we bring this story on the stage, collaborate with one of the best composers called Huang Ruo. So it's going to be 90 minutes dance and eight sections. Our goal is to put this program perform on Angel Island in the barracks. So really bring us back to those times to memorize, to remember this history. And then more importantly, we all connect to that part of history because we are all this journey all together. That's what we are all here to celebrate. Here we, here we go, like Angel Island Ballet. Come for us for more. Thank you so much.